These are examples of real world fraction problems. Our first one is about soccer and about fractions also. It says Mario practices soccer for one and a half hours on Tuesday, two and one third hours on Wednesday, and three quarters of an hour on Thursday. Next week, he will practice the same number of hours on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. What's the total number of hours that Mario will practice over six days? So this activity asks us to draw a visual representation. And you know what? For this one, I'm just going to draw a calendar. Calendars are excellent organizational tools, and we use them all the time. So my calendar has helped me make a plan here. There's a lot of ways that you could solve this problem. But basically, we need to add all of these together. And I'm going to start by adding my columns. First, let's add 1 and a half plus 1 and a half. That equals 2 and 2 halves. Hmm, well, what's the same thing as two halves? One, right? So that's two plus one. That's three. Now let's add two and one third plus two and one third. Well, two plus two is four, and one third plus one third is two thirds, and that's straightforward. That's how much that is. Now let's add three fourths plus three fourths. So three fourths plus three fourths is six fourths, and if we rewrite that as a mixed number, we'll get one and two fourths which simplifies to one and one half. So now I've summed up my three columns and I need to add the sums together. I'm gonna to start by adding the front numbers, the whole numbers of my num mixed numbers here. So three plus four plus one, that's eight. And then I'm gonna add the fractions. So let's talk about this. We need to add two thirds plus one half. They don't have the same denominator, so I need to find a common denominator. If I list out the multiples of 2 and the multiples of 3, I can see that the least common multiple of these two numbers is 6. So I'm going to want 6 to be my denominator. Now that I know that, I can say 3 goes into 6 2 times. And I can say 2 goes into 6 3 times. So I'll rewrite my whole expression, this time with a denominator of 6 in both of those fractions. So now I can add these together. That gives me 8 and 7 sixths. Um, but 7 sixths is an improper fraction. Let me turn the 7 sixths into a mixed number. All right, that would be 1 and 1 sixths. So what I really have here is 8 plus 1 and 1 sixths, which is 9 and 1 sixths. So that's the number of hours that Mario is going to practice. Mario will practice for 9 and 1 sixths hours on these six days. Now let's try this next one. Mia has 60 pairs of shoes. One fifth are sandals, one third are sneakers, one fourth are slippers, and the rest are boots. How many pairs of boots does Mia have? Okay, so the tricky part of this problem will probably be figuring out how many sandals, sneakers, and slippers Mia has. So I know she's got 60 pairs of shoes total, so I just drew a fraction strip here where one, I've divided it into fifths, and one of those fifths is sandals. Then I drew another strip and had it in thirds, and one third are sneakers. Then I drew a third strip and divided it into fourths, and I know that that fourth represents slippers. So let's think about what one fifth of 60 would be. Well, 60 divided by five is 12, so each of these boxes must be worth 12. So she has 12 pairs of sandals. What about thirds? Well, 60 divided by three is equal to 20. So each of these are equal to 20, and she has 20 pairs of sneakers. Finally, 60 divided by 4 is 15. So each of these boxes are 15, and she has 15 pairs of slippers. So let me draw one more strip diagram down here. And again, this one adds up to 60. My first box is going to be my sandals. That's 12. And then I have 20 pairs of sneakers for Mia and 15 pairs of slippers. And then the rest are boots. So I can clearly see now what I want to do if I want to figure out her boots. First, I need to add 12 plus 20 plus 15. That's 47. And then I need to do 60 minus 47. And that's 13. So Mia has 13 pairs of boots. Why don't you pause the video and try the next one on your own? Now remember, your representation does not have to look like the one that I come up with. Be creative, do your own thing, pause the video. When you hit play again, it will show you an answer. 
So I drew another strip diagram for this one, and my strip diagram indicated to me that I would need to add one third plus three eighths to find the remaining amount of time that Arnold needs to read if he wants to meet his goal. So now I just need to add one third plus three eighths. Um, let me think about a common denominator for that. Um, I'm gonna use 24. Three times eight is 24, and eight times three is 24. So now when I multiply my numerators and denominators, I can rewrite this as eight 24 plus nine 24 which I can easily see is 17 24 So that's how many more hours he needs to read, 17 24 so as you look at these problems, I want you to be aware that there's many correct ways to solve these. There's lots of approaches and there's lots of visual representations as well. When you're working with fractions, you should think of a strategy and a representation that makes sense to you.